So, so what's happened? Well, I have here um, a report uh, by the, uh, this is in the Washington Times, July 23, 2001, just before 911. FBI agent John Roberts, a unit chief for the Bureau's Headquarters of Professional Responsibility, and John uh, Wormer, Werner, W-R-N-E-R, spent 27 years with the FBI uh, before his retirement in 1999, told a Senate committee last week that they were threatened and intimidated by senior FBI managers during an investigation of the Bureau's role into the fatal shooting at Ruby Ridge. Do you recall that? That was where Vicki Weaver, her 14-year-old son, Samuel and a deputy U.S. Marshal William Deegan were all killed during the standoff in August 1992. During his testimony, uh, Mr. Roberts told the committee that during the Ruby Ridge Inquiry, he and Mr. Werner, also assigned to the probe, were told by senior FBI managers, quote, that we do not work for the FBI, that our assignment to the Ruby Ridge investigation could have an impact on our careers and that being assigned to the investigation would not be good for us in the end. Well, if they don't work for the FBI, from whom are they receiving their paycheck? They're getting their check from the FBI, it's the federal government. What I'm telling you is, in my 23 years of experience and research and investigations and lectures and TV appearances, the Illuminati has infiltrated our intelligence community. It's not only infiltrated the intelligence community, it's infiltrated every level of society. It's not just the Illuminati by itself, it's Illuminati day, satanic cults. I've never, I've, I've talked to a number of Illuminati people and they were members of a satanic cult and they were active in satanic cults. The satanic cult uh, problem in this country is serious and it dovetails across the board with the drugs, pornography, prostitution, and uh, other nefarious activity. In, uh, in 1773, the, G the uh, Rothschild family commissioned a fellow named Adam Weishaupt uh, to come up with the goals to take over the world. On May the 1st, it's a communist holiday, by the way, of 1776, Adam Weishaupt announced the 25 goals. And these goals were, number eight was corrupt youth through sex and drugs. I'm not gonna go through all of them because that's the subject of another lecture by me. I have a, a four hour lecture on the Illuminati that's available to you folks. Um, the number eighth goal was corrupt the youth through sex and drugs. Number 12 rule was to elect their own people, elect Illuminati to offices. I'm sure they've done that in Washington. And number 13 was to control the press. Well, in, uh, on February the 9th, 1917, Congressman Calloway, and I don't have a copy of the in front of me, but I, uh, it will be made available to you on the screen, Congressman Calloway announced that the J.P. Morgan interests had bought up 25 of America's leading newspapers and inserted their own editor in order to control the press. Before they bought up these 25 newspapers, they did a survey of 179 newspapers, and they picked these 25 as the one, the key newspapers, where they felt they could be effective. And it has been effective. The main, you're getting information from me today that you won't get from the mainstream media. Fortunately, there are a few press releases now and then that do corroborate what I'm telling you. The uh, 14th goal of the Illuminati I find very interesting because it fits right into Pearl Harbor, Jack Kennedy, Waco, uh, World Trade Center 93, Oklahoma City bombing, uh, the 911 attacks. The 14th goal of the Illuminati is to create a crisis and then come in and pretend like you are the savior. And that's what's happened in order to pass the anti-terrorism legislation. The 17th goal promises to politicians and the